Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the prehistoric sites and decorated caves of the Vizier Valley, southwest France. This is the Vizier Valley, and it's one of the most important archaeological areas in the world. It's not a large area, about 30 by 40 kilometres, but packed into it is over 150 sites occupied by ancient humans, including 38 caves full of bones, paintings and other artworks. Behind me is the most famous of them all, Lascaux, and it was discovered in 1940 by a group of local teenagers. It contains very, very detailed and artistic paintings of animals dated to around 17,000 years ago and it caused an absolute sensation when it was discovered. Unfortunately, this is as close as we can get and it's not open to the public anymore. But the French government have built a replica cave just down the hill for us to have a look at. Let's go. So the paintings at Lascaux are approximately 17,000 years old and they were made by hunter-gatherer people. Although we refer to them sometimes as cave people, they didn't actually live in the caves. Now the cave itself has around 2,000 artworks in it, although about a thousand of them are in one small domed chamber and are badly faded and not visible. We assume the works are religious or spiritual in nature because they weren't painting landscapes, plants or humans, only animals. In the cave, many reindeer bones were found, so we believe that reindeer was the main source of meat for these people, but reindeer are depicted exactly zero times in the art. The most common animals shown are bulls and cattle, wild horses, deer, bison and ibex and the largest bull is five meters long, the largest animal ever found in cave art. There's three main colors as well, red, yellow, and black, and the skill is just incredible, as many animals are shown moving with correct perspective, and some are even shown from multiple angles. There's even a series of five deer heads, which looks remarkably like a single deer swimming across a river, shown in sequence. You can also see the different techniques that have been used, including painting with fingers, with brushes, with pads, and even with blowpipes as well. Well, we've just finished our tour and that was absolutely sensational. I'm really, really impressed with the cave the replica and the museum and stuff here. It's all been really, really well done. I'd thoroughly recommend coming and having a look next time you're in Southern France. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.